Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, teacher. What's going on? Good night. <laughs> How are you guys? How are you, Anita? Hi, Patty. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm so yeah. happy to see you. Ooh. How are you? Very good. Thank you so much for asking. I'm good. And you? Fine. You okay? Yeah? Yes. Ready, ready to rock and roll today? Yeah? <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, to rock and roll is not the, to dance, right? When I said to rock and roll, that means to start, to give your best, to participate. Yeah, that's what I mean, oh, okay. rock and roll. Yeah, it, okay. not like, like Elvis Presley, right? No, I'm not talking about that. No way. Mm -mm. We're not going to make you dance. At least you are safe because we have classes online. But if you have classes with me alive, I will make you dance. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay. but, but not right now, okay? So don't worry about it. Okay, so that means that if you're ready to give your 100%, that's what I want to know. Yeah? 100%? Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. You know what? I, I think it's going to be more girls than boys. We only have one boy, Mr. Jose Ismael. Okay. Lucky you, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, just kidding. There you go. Tell me, uh, how was your day? What did you do, Jose? What did you do today? Hello, good night. Hi. Good night, sir. And my name, it was uh, nice. Uh, it was nice, and, really? That's great. And what it, happened? Uh, and my word uh, mm -hmm. was the the end of the the month. Oh, oh yeah, we're in the 30th, right? This month yeah. is for 30th or 31 year days? 30th. 30th, mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh yes, really? And, okay. Yes, and, but uh, it it was a uh, 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 end of the month quiet. It, it's oh. a, it's, it was a good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, very good. And anything special? Anything that you eat, eat today that you like? Did you cook? I don't know. No. I, I can't cook. You can't cook. <gasps> no, you can't. Can't cook. Why? Only, only eggs. <laughs> oh, but uh, but that means you can cook, but you cannot. You yes. you're not a chef, but at least you can prepare uh, eggs, right? Yeah. Very little. <laughs> but that's nice. Yes, I. Yes, it. it the day it was. Uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. And and and, and my world, I um, I realize uh, some activities that. Can I another day to do? Really, for example? Uh, yeah, uh, if my work, uh, um, I I can in, in past. I could. I I I do. I don't. I I don't remember. But I I realize uh, some work uh, writing some reports. Oh, okay. Uh, the other days I can't. Yes. Oh, okay. So this is a special day because you wrote some reports. Yes, I I had uh, some time to do. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Or maybe yes. those are the reports that you had to do because it's the end of the month, right? Uh, not really. Not really. It's uh, about uh, another activities that oh, uh, I have okay. to to do. Ah, but I, I, I can do it. Ah, okay. Yes. So so today you had like time to do those reports. Okay. Oh, to yes. prepare those reports. That's amazing. That's nice. So basically that was a yes, really yeah. relaxed day, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Right. All right. So you're listening, right? Okay. You're listening what Jose is saying, okay? Mm-hmm. Who else wants to participate? Patty. Hi, Patty. How was your day? Tell us. What Hi, did you, teacher. What did you do today? Mm, my day is um, very, very difficult. Uh, very difficult. Is, okay. Yes, today is uh, month finish. Yeah, twenty is the end of the month. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And is um, ¿cómo se dice cierre de ventas? Uh, it's a closed day for selling. Or sales closed ah, day. Okay. 
Okay, is day close sales? Sales close day. Sales close day. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, a revision a report every okay. day. You, you... Uh, receiving mm -hmm. receiving the money uh, report pre, report remes collect. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have been collecting all the money. Exactly. Mm, okay. And you have been like uploaded or posted that money? Posted. Uh, Ponerlo, uploaded. Post. Posted. Postearlo. Uh, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you work with Excel? Like if you have like all the records of... Uh, mm, you know? Is the system... Um, and it's called Camar. It's okay. a program at the office. Is a is a program that you use at the office? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. When you have when you register or enter all the information. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's good. I have never heard that program before. Usually, I I uh, I, I work in collections, also. But it is yes. First. Yeah, I do work with collections as well. Yes. <laughs> but it's for a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> for a hospital and insurance companies. Okay, you imagine how much money, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, no, you cannot imagine. Yeah. Um, it is, um, when well, my work it is difficult uh, every, every day, but my, my experience. Uh, Okay, but uh, because I am an experienced girl, or, uh, or because of my experience, it, that's easy for me right now. Or make, mm. makes it easy. Yeah, make I, easy. Yeah, but do you remember the first time that you started? It was like, oh my God, what am I going to do today? But now, because you already have experienced uh, that's a little bit easy for you, okay? But imagine me, the first time, yes. oh, goodness, no way. <laughs> oh, but that's nice. Yes. Okay, guys, you are listening yes. to what Patty is explaining, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Patty. What about yes. Maria yes. del Carmen and Helen Mercedes? I think that these two girls, actually, they are working together as far as they can see. Yeah, you said Maria del Carmen say yes, <laughs> I'm working with Helen. I think one is on, uh, on in her office right now, and the other one is in the front desk, I think. All righty, very good. Helen Mercedes, tell me, how's your day going right now? Very good. Very good. Just, okay. Just a little bit busy, but I good know. because I, and I almost send all the things for the Yay! So that's for nice. the month. Yes. That's great. So yeah. you're almost there. Okay. Uh, but I'm happy. Yeah. Even though you are on uh, right now working, but you are paying attention. You are in exactly. class. So I'm so happy. I'm so sorry. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. I will try. I will try to just leave you right so you can concentrate and everything. But times to times, I'm going to ask you something. Okay. No problem. Okay. I'm cool. Here. Very yeah. good. Thank you. All righty, Maria del Carmen, what about you? Hello, girl. Hello, 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 how are you? I think she's busy right now. She's like doing some paper stuff over there, all right? Okay, let me leave her right now because she's concentrated, okay? Let's listen to somebody else who's, uh, who, you know what? There's a person who was, who was eating yesterday around this time, but right now, He's concentrating in the class. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Ronald Umberto, how are you? What happened with the cookie and the, and the soda can? What happened? Good evening, everyone. Uh, you already had one? Oh, no. I don't have any. Why? What happened? Any snack. Why not? I don't know because I'm full right now. Oh, you're full. So that means yeah. that you already have your dinner. Yeah, uh, uh, I am waiting for my dinner around nine o'clock. Oh, okay. So I thought you were you already had your dinner because you said you're full. No, because I took my snack around six thirty, maybe. 
Ah, okay, so you had a, a so right now I am like, full. like a, yeah, exactly, like yeah. not so long ago. And tell us, what was your snack, by the way? Well, it, it was uh, an apple, green oh. apple. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it's it's a good option when you have a lot of uh, uh, hungry, maybe, or you are starving. Yeah, and what do you think is a good option? Other option. Yeah, no. Why you say that is a good option to eat? Oh, because green after apple. you you eat uh, a green apple, you you feel better. You feel full. And yes. You don't need to to eat something else. And that is because two reasons. That green apple is a type of apple that has a lot of antioxidants, right? Oh yeah. And at the same time, the apple are one of the fruits that has fiber. Okay, fiber. And and uh, fever makes you feel full, so that will stop you eating more, or also yeah. stop you eat something sweet, right? That will end yeah. up a lot of calories. So basically, if you would like to like put it on a diet, right? Uh, that's the best uh, fruits that you can eat: apples, pears, or bananas, or blueberries. I try to I try to eat some healthy. Because Very right good. now I feel a little bit shoey. A little bit shabby. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you know what? He needs to be handsome for his girlfriend, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. Okay. I need to shave my body. Oh, okay. So you need to like <laughs> also eat healthy and do With exercises, right? With the six pack, <laughs> Jose Z. Okay, that's good. And Patty's like, Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Very good. Okay, but you know what? You already ate um, green apple, so that means that you have a lot of antioxidants on your brain, so you're going to be prepared for today's class, right? You're going to rock and roll, right, buddy? Rock and roll, that means give a hand of the sun of you, right? Very good. Right. Okay, you're paying right. attention, okay? <laughs> Christian, what about you, my man, Christian? Yesterday you were... Uh, you were wearing the same, almost the same outfit of uh, Umberto, but now you are different as well. Okay, so tell me, how's your day going, Christian? What did you do today? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, um, my day, mm, very good. Uh, very good, okay, that's nice. Uh, Why? Uh, I went work. What? Uh, no. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, you can do it. You can do it, my man. <laughs> um, a ver. Let me see. Uh -huh. uh, don't Google it. Come on. Don't Google it. How can I say this? No way. <laughs> I, 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 what, there's somebody that says Google knows everything, but that's not truth. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So, what you are trying to say, Christian? Say it in Spanish. What you are trying to say? Say it in Spanish. We can do it together. Okay. Que lo diga en español. Yes. Oh, uh, And I will help no, you. No. Okay. No. Yo know, bueno, tuve un, un bonito día y, y una jornada más de trabajo. Only, okay. Only that, okay. That's another day of working. Say that. Just another day of work. Okay. Okay. So, so repeat it, please. Repeat it. Just another day of work. Okay. Thank okay. You. I, I want to listen to you. Say it. Just another day of work. Repeat that phrase, please. Repeat it. Repeat that phrase, please. Just another day of work. Yes. Repeat. Repeat after me. Just another day of work. Can you listen to me, Christian? I love to write it, teacher, for chat, right? Yes, chat, chat. I will write it, but I want you to pronounce it. Just? Yes. Another? Another? Day? Day? Of work. Of work. Very good. Of work. Okay. Excellent. Just another day of work. You see? Okay. Was, it, was it hard? Was it difficult? No. You see, I know that you can do it. 
remember guys, I told you once that you can express yourself with vocabulary that you know, with words that you know. Don't complicate your life. Don't complicate it, okay? Okay. When you continue listening, when you continue practicing, when you continue reading, you will know every day uh, or will get to know another word, another good or uh, new word for you. And that will help you increase your vocabulary. But right now, just express as simple as possible, okay? Simple. Easy peasy queasy, like piece of cake, Christian. Like piece of cake. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent job, my man. Excellent job. Anita, what about you, Anita? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, Tell us, how was your day? This, uh, this, week, uh, this week is uh, very tired. Okay. Because, because uh, some classmates and me, mm -hmm. uh, we are cleaning the, all the classroom. Oh, okay. Yes, because... Uh, in five months, mm -hmm. uh, they 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 not they not clean it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh huh. Oh my God. So that will be really dirty, right? Yes. Ooh. They are very dirty. And dirty. Oh, okay. okay. I can imagine, right? Are you tired? Yes. Oof, exhausted, tired. physically tired. Oof. Yes. You want to sleep, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, I know, Tomorrow, I know. Yes. Tomorrow uh, we 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 are going to celebrate on the children's day. Oh, you're the, going to celebrate? Yes. Children's day. Sleep. Oh, okay. Yes, with the with the with the children. With the children. Oh, I love children. Children are really uh, special. Online. online. That's nice. Very good. Excellent. Are you listening to what Anita is saying, right? Okay. But Anita, I know that you are physically exhausted, but I'm so happy to see you because you're here in class. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you because you are here. That's amazing. You're listening, right? Anita has been... <sighs> really exhausted, right? A lot of work, but she's here. So that's great. Let me listen to one more people. One more person here. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, thank you, Fernando. He said, <clears throat> okay, that means, hey, <laughs> by the way. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay <bitch. laughs> I'm sorry, you, you mentioned to yourself, okay? You, okay, so okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, Fernando, tell us about your day. How was your day? Teacher, a day with a lot of work. I, I can't imagine. Yes, yes. Now, in the morning, I was broadcasting a live event on the SP, SP Agape. Really? Okay. Okay. In, in the afternoon, I was updating the information on the Agape website. Okay. Wow. Yes, teacher. Oh my god. For the moment for the moment the internet is bad. It's raining hard, teacher. Oh, so that's why I cannot see you, right? I just can listen to yes. you. That's okay, no problem. As long as okay. you're here, Fernando, that's here that's nice for me. Because I'm happy okay. that I'm not happy to see you because I cannot see you right now. <laughs> but I can listen to you. And that makes <laughs> me feel really good. <laughs> thank you thank okay, you so teacher. much Fernando for being here okay who else Danielita how are you fine thank you hi Danny how's your day going how was your day a little bit busy okay everybody I think that that <laughs> word is for everybody right busy tired exhausted <laughs> right okay okay why tell me why because I was doing a lot of activities of my work and mm -hmm. some meetings. Because mm -hmm. oh. I have to improve some process. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that's what the meeting for, right? To, yes. to let us know what you're doing right and continue doing it for the things that we need to improve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. So that's nice. But was uh, everything it's okay with the meetings? Everything it's fine? Yeah? 
Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, that's great. Okay, you see, she she had been in the meeting the whole day, and she continued in the meeting with us. Well, but this this is yes. class, right? <laughs> so that's amazing. Very good. Thank you, Danny. What about you, Merci? Merci, Carolina. How are you? Merci, Carolina. Oh my God! I think she falls asleep. She's like like this. Can you see her? Yeah, right. She's sleeping, right? Hello. Hello? I'm fine. I'm, you know what? It's yeah. because your image is frozen no, like I'm this. here. <laughs> it's like this. It's frozen, right? And, and, I, and I thought you were asleep, sleeping. Okay. Sure. How are you, Mercy? Oh. <laughs> I'm fine. That's nice. No. Yeah, I, we can listen to you. That's okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, it was a, a difficult day, but yes. now I am. You I'm here. okay. Oh, that's nice to hear. You see, it was difficult. Oh, my God. I know. It's because of the end of the month, right, guys? And yes. last but no least, I want to hear my beautiful lady, Adela Garcia. Yeah. Hi, Thank Adela. You. How are Hi. you? Hi, thank you. I'm so happy. Tell me, how was your day? Oh, I have a hard day. Really? Why? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because it's the end of month mm -hmm. in I'm accountant. Oh, I, yes. We uh -huh. have a close the month in half uh, some, some tasks. But today okay. I, to get finished my my activities for this day oh yes finally <laughs> i know accountant you love numbers i hate yes. them but uh, that's okay okay and tell me something because adela guys you know i know her since like um two models ago right yeah but um adela is always prepares really amazing lunch for <laughs> her family yeah the, let me ask you did you prepare something special today adela uh, I I don't know what say albondigas. How do you say albondigas? How do you say albondigas, guys? How do you say it? Meatballs. Yeah, oh. exactly. Oh. Meatballs. Very good, Daniela. <laughs> Meatballs. Let me write it on the chat right now. See? Bear with me. Mm -hmm. Meatballs. Meatballs. Okay. That okay. that means the meat. It is like a ball uh, a structure, right? Yeah? Or form, right? Yeah. Or shape. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, meatballs. Okay, that's good. Yeah, with what? With rice or with salad? With rice mm -hmm. and fresh salad. And fresh salad. Listen, Jose yes. Ismael. Okay, <laughs> we, you know, Miss Adela Garcia, she's a chef, by the way, so she can give you some tips, right? <laughs> Because uh, Adela, Jose, he said that he cannot cook. He can only cook a scrambled eggs. With, <laughs> with, with at least something, right? Yeah, but, but you can give him some advice, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in, because... the in the future, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> not, not right now, like, right now, did you? No, 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 not right now. Okay, but uh, yeah, she's, she's really good. You cannot imagine how delicious food. The last model, she was, every day, she was explaining, I prepare this, I prepare this. And we were like, hush, I wish Adela I could live with you so I can have lunch. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> she prepares really good meal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And let me ask if, if there's somebody else who, all, who can also cook. Carlitos, Carlito Arevalo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Very good. Yeah, tell me something. Are you a chef? No, 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 no. But can no. you cook a little bit? Mm, really not. Uh, Maruchan does not work, okay? Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't count, no. Uh, no, it's not common to cook in my house. Oh, I, okay. Because I, 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 in the morning, I go very early to, to, oh, to my work. okay, okay. And in the afternoon, I come very, very uh, late. Very late. Okay, I understand. So basically, the three meals you have them outside, right? What about weekends? Um, generally, I I rest. 
you rest. My house. Yes. You rest at home, okay. Oh, uh, maybe I I fix some uh, thing in my house. But, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, okay. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Mm. Okay, guys, we have listened, right? Something. Okay, tell me something. Who said that they cannot cook? Who said that? Uh huh. Jose. Jose. Ismael. 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 And who else? Carlos. 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 And Jose said, Carlos, too. Huh. All righty. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Who said that tomorrow they will celebrate Children's Day? Annie. Um, Annie. Annie. Very Annie. good. Who said that he's full because he had just uh, his uh, snack is like a green apple snack? Humberto. Very good. Who said that today he was working in Agape website? Fernando. Fernando. All righty. Who said that today she, okay, and I give you a clue, right? She prepared some meatballs for her family. Adela. Adela. Yeah. Who said that today she has been during the whole day in a lot of meetings? A lot of meetings. Daniela. 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 Very good. Excellent. All right. And who said, well, just another day of work. Who said that? Christian. 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 Very good. Oh, my God. You were paying attention, by the way. All righty. And, and who said that the, today was really busy? Patricia. Everybody. 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 <laughs> Come on. Exactly. Including me. Including me, but I'm so happy to. Yeah, I'm so no, but that's okay, right? Right now we already finished. I'm with you, so we're ready to go. Okay, guys. Yes. Yeah, very good. Excellent. You see, we're speaking. Yes. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, today, guys, tell me something. Do you remember what was yesterday's topic? Uh huh. The stress. Yeah. The stress. Stress. The, the stress of what? Syllable stress. The syllable stress. Excellent job. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The syllable stress. For two or three syllable words, right? Remember, we, get, we, uh, we had three categories, right? Mm -hmm. At the beginning, and the middle, and at the end. Can I have an example, please, of at the end? Thank you, Jose. That's a good idea. Thank you so much for participating. You're my man. Employees. Yeah, come on. It's because you said that. That's great. Excellent job. All righty. Very good. Woohoo. Okay. What about an example for first pronunciation, Carlitos? For first uh, mm -hmm. taking? Taking? Okay, taking. That's good. Uh -huh. Another example of a first uh, category, Umberto? Uh, in the middle, for example. No, in the motion. middle, no. The first one. The first one. Ah, airplane. Airplane. Very good. What about the second one, Wendy? <laughs> okay, well, let me take a look at my. <laughs> <laughs> On the second, uh, the second option. Of the second category. Emotion? Emotion. Ah, because Umberto said it. Come on. No, <laughs> I don't hear. Ah, you didn't hear. Come on. Okay. No, I'm just kidding you. That's okay. Very good. Okay, Danny, what about I need an example, Danny, for first, second, and third. One for each one. For the first. Yes, Danny. For the first one first. Satellite. Okay, for the second one. Uh, direction. All right, and for the third one. Afternoon. Uh -huh. Afternoon or afternoon? Afternoon. Remember that with that <laughs> word, I almost have a, a headache. Remember yeah, yes. that? I was like, yeah. afternoon, afternoon, oh, afternoon. I was like that, right? Remember? <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Because of you, I almost uh, okay. hurt my neck. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. Today, guys, we are going to continue and we're going to put a um, 
some a topic that we already have seen. Do you remember that we have seen infinitives already? Yes? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, infinitives. Oh. Uh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. To, we use infinitive, guys. We have seen infinitives, but we would like to, um, to talk about the reason why we use something, or why we do something, right? To express purpose of something. Do you remember that? We have seen that already. Who can let me know what is the structure for infinitive? Uh, uh huh, Carlitos, thank you. Yes, oh. go ahead. Uh huh. Oh, Catherine, yes, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay, volunteers. Two plus, two plus, two plus verb. Verb. Yeah, very good. Two plus verb, right? To send, to speak, to talk, to walk, right? To prepare, to review, etc. Very good. Okay, so we already know that structure and we already know how to use it, but today we're going to combine it with something else. With something else to provide advice. Advice about something. You know what advice is, guys? Advice? Consejo? Advice? Yeah. Okay. What, what is the teacher? What is the difference? Between advice with C and advice with S. Ah, oh, that's, that's a good question. That will be your homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And keep asking. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. That will be your homework. So remember, right? Advice with C and advice with S. Is, that, is there a difference? Sorry, guys. No, sorry, no, because tomorrow you will let us know the answer. I, I think Umberto said, I better do not open my mouth because I will get in trouble, right? <laughs> yes, you know what I'm telling you that? It's, it's not because I don't know the answer or because I don't want to say it to you. It's because I want you to learn. Okay. And the only way that you learn is to search by yourself, to study by yourself. Because if I let you know, to, uh, next week you're going to, uh, I will ask you, hey, do you remember what is the difference between advice with C and advice with S? And you will say, I don't remember. But if you, if you do your search, your own search, I guarantee that you will never forget it. Okay. That's the reason. And keep on asking. That's okay because you will you, that your hunger will increase. Okay? No, don't worry about that. <laughs> no, Humberto said, I better do not ask anything else. <laughs> Just kissing. All right. Okay. Uh, after teasing with Humberto, okay, or joking with Humberto, okay. Guys, we're talking about infinitive, right? And today we're going to join with another expressions that we commonly use in English, but uh, it's quite different. And we're going to use infinitives with imperatives or imperatives with infinitives. Tell me something. Do you know what imper imperatives are for? Any idea, imperatives? Imperativos in Spanish? No? Uh, like a word there? Uh, uh -huh, exactly, like an order, exactly. If, for example, only imperatives are to provide order, like Adela, right? For example, she tells her, uh, her children, eat the soup, okay? Mm -hmm. Wash the dishes, turn off the TV, okay? Uh, yes, that's an imperative, it's a command, right? It's the, an order, but... If we use an imperative with infinitive, it's not an order. It becomes an advice, okay? If we use it separately, it means something else. But we, if we combine together the imperatives with the infinitives, instead of giving an order, we're giving an advice. And an advice, guys, in a polite way, okay? So you don't... The other person uh, doesn't feel like you are like pushing to do something. No, you are giving options. You are giving advice. Depends of this person's situation. Okay. So infinitive plus 
sorry, imperative plus infinitives, we use it together to provide advice in a polite or educate way. Okay, Patty? Patty, you're like, what are you talking about? Like a big question mark, como un gran interrogación, like a big question mark. Yes, what happened, Patty? Any questions, Patty? Please, feel free to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not clear uh, the, the difference in the, in the mm -hmm. infinitive. Uh -huh. I know. Imperative is clear. Infinitive, no, no. Do you remember that infinitive mm -hmm. we use to plus the verb in present tense? Do you remember that? Remember that we saw computers, for example. Mm -hmm. I use my computer to send in. Mm -hmm. Remember that to send that was an infinity, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. An imperative, okay. we use it to give orders. But if we use imperative and infinitive together, that helps us to provide advice, okay? To give advice in a polite or educate way, okay? And that's what we're going to learn today. But tell me something. I will ask you, I will write to you right now in a chat one sentence and you let me know the difference. Okay, the first one is I use my computer to send message to my mother. Okay, is that, is there an infinitive there, guys? Yeah. Yes, what is the infinitive yes. in that sentence? Yes, to send. To send. To send. Exactly, yeah. exactly, because it's two plus the verb. Okay, and tell me something, guys. In that particular sentence, is there a subject? Is there a subject? Yes, what is the subject there? I. I, because I'm talking about myself, me. all right? Yes. Okay, but let me write to you another sentence and you let me know what is the difference. Sorry, I can't see your screen. No, no, no. Right oh, now, it's message. just the chat. It's the chat. It's the chat, yeah, Jose. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so tell me something. Is uh, I already sent you another sentence. What did the second sentence say, uh, Carlitos? Can you please read it for me? Okay, be sure to send a message to your mother. Be sure to send a message to your mother. Okay. Of course, right? You know that you're going to, send, to use a computer to send a message to your mother. But tell me, in this particular second sentence, where is the infinitive? To send. To send, exactly. Like this first example, right? But is there something different on that particular sentence? Yeah, the first, you can put be sure. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, it's advice. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me, in the second sentence, is there a subject? Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, when we use imperatives, guys, we do not use subjects, okay? Imperatives, you don't use subjects, okay? Because as Carlito said, it's a command, it's an order, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do not use subjects. But, but uh, read the sentence again for me, Anita. Read the second sentence again for me, please. Anita, hello, Anita. I cannot hear you. Somebody's like whispering. I don't know who's whispering, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe Jose. No? Okay, let me see. Uh, Humberto, Maybe Anita has right now problems. Uh, could you please read for me the second sentence? Yeah. 
Be sure to send a message to your mother. Okay. For example, guys, tell me, okay, let me, let me write to you another, another sentence. Read the third sentence for me, please. Me? Yes, you. Okay. Uh, send a message to your mother. Okay. Listen carefully. Okay, guys. Carlitos, Adela, Jose. Uh, Humberto said, send a message to your mother. If I use that expression, guys, send a message to your mother is an imperative. Okay? Because I'm using the verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. I send a message to your mom. If, if, for example, Umberto, if I tell you that, oh, I'm telling you, send a message to your mom. You feel like, oh my God, she's giving me an order, right? Yeah. But re read the second sentence again. Be sure to send a message to your mother. Okay, very good. You see, Umberto, you are telling me exactly the same of the third but in sentence. The, in the way, Paul, in the exactly. When, but mm -hmm, exactly, but the second sentence. In a polite way. Exactly, it's polite. You know, if I if I say to you, be sure to send a message to your mommy, I'm giving you an advice, and you don't feel like. She's telling me to do something. No. She advised me. Not forget to do that. Teacher, how we create mm -hmm. how we create how we create a, the sentence in a polite polite way. That's you what see, we're going to see. That's sure what we're going to see today. Okay. Don't worry. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. If not, your hunger will increase. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, you see, guys, ven eso la diferencia. Si, si te digo, send a message to your mother, te digo, mándale un mensaje a tu mamá. You're like, okay. Uy, chica, como que fuera mi mamá, esta señora, qué barbaridad, right? Oof, no way. But if I said, be sure to send a message to your mom, is it different? ¿Se siente diferente? Asegúrate de mandarle el mensaje a tu mamá. You see? Be sure, imperative, to send a message to your mom, infinitive. If we combine it together, we are giving an advice. See? ¿Sí? ¿Me entiendes la diferencia? Do you understand the difference? Patty, Humberto, Christian, Catherine, Helen, Maria del Carmen? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, Anita, yes. Fernando, Janet, Wendy? Yes. Yes? All righty. Okay, I want to make sure. Okay, guys, can we continue reading that? Okay, let me show you right now. Let's share my screen right now with you. All righty. Allow me just a couple of minutes and tell me as long as you're able to see my screen, okay? Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. Okay, there you go. All right. Can you see my screen, guys, here? Or would you like me to make it bigger? Is that okay, guys? It's okay. It's okay. 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 It's okay. All right, guys. Very good. But let me put it a little bit bigger. All right, good. Mm -hmm. We already have seen that. There you go. We already have seen that, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. We, also, we saw that yesterday. There you go. Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. Imperatives and infinitives to give suggestions. Okay, guys, very good. We have learned so far this one. Take a look. Be sure, right? Okay, can you see right now here the infinitive? To turn. Yes. Yes, all right. Okay, this guy is a verb. Turn on is a phrasal verb, and we have divided into two, okay? I'm going to explain that later on. Okay, tell me something. Any other expressions that you use to give up? Can you please read for me the second expression, um, Carlitos? Uh, don't forget to, to dial the area code. Exactly. Don't forget to dial the area code. No te olvides marcar el código de área. Don't forget. 
Okay, the third sentence, please, Danny. Hi, Danny, the third sentence, please, if you don't mind. Hello, Danny? can you hear me? I think Danny cannot hear me. Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Okay, uh, Adela, what about the third sentence? Okay, make sure to hit the end button. Yes, make sure to hit the end button. Asegúrate de darle click al botón de finalizado. To hit the end button, all right? Very good. Another expression. Uh, continue reading for me, uh, Humberto. Remember to pay the bill every month. Remember to pay the bills anymore. Very good. And the last one, uh, who can help me reading? Mm, Jose Luis. Jose Ismael, sorry. Jose. Hello, Jose. Is Jose there, by the way? Try not. Sorry. Okay. Try not to talk for too long. Try not to talk for too long. All right, very good. Okay, let's practice the sentences, guys. Be sure to turn it on. Repeat after me. Be sure, Be sure to turn, turn it on. on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Okay, listen carefully. Just repeat this part. Turn it on. 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 Turn it. Turn it on. Turn it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Very good. Don't forget to dial the area code. Don't forget to dial the area code. Area code. Very good. Number three. Make sure to hit the end button. Make sure to hit the end button. Very good. Remember to. Pay the bill every month. Remember, Remember to, pay to, pay to pay the bill, every, bill month. every month. Very good. And the last one. Try not to talk for too long. Try not, Try to, not to talk, to too, talk long. Too, long. For too long. Mm hmm. Very good. Excellent, guys. You are amazing as always, right? Uh huh. All right. Very good. Okay. So we need to remember. Okay, the, okay, I'm going to come back with you. And do you remember the expression that we have just learned right now to make suggestions where imperatives and infinitives? Okay? Yes. Okay, can you repeat them? Yes. Okay. Give me an example. Wendy? Uh-huh. Make sure, remember? Make sure, okay? Make sure. Don't forget, okay? Try not be sure. Be sure. What else? Be sure. Remember. Remember. What else? Try not. Try, Try not. not. All right. Very good. Okay. Those are the expressions, guys, that we can use with imperative. And also, after that, infinitives to provide advice, okay? I mean, let me continue sharing right now the screen because there is a lot more to see right now. All right, let me share right now my screen. But so far, is that any doubts so far? Any doubts, any questions right now? Everything is clear, guys, like water or like horchata? Like horchata, like horchata Patty. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're about to, you're about to understand that. Okay, let's continue. Yes, okay. This is what I was talking about right now, guys. Imperatives. Take a look at this one. What do I say about imperatives? Guys, do we use a subject with imperatives? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. With imperatives, do not use subject. Everything starts with a verb, okay? For example, make your bed, mop the floor, you see? Very good. And like uh, Carlitos was saying, we use imperatives most of the time to use for instructions or commands and demands. That is most commonly used. 
I think, uh, Patti, I think you have a lot of noise. Could you please mute uh, yourself a little bit? I don't listen. Repeat me. Repeat, please. I think there's a lot of noise on your side. Can you please mute yourself a little bit? Okay, better. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patti. Okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, take a look at this one. Let's mix, guys, imperatives with infinitive suggestions. Hey, take a look at this picture. I think this is uh, Wendy and this is Humberto, maybe, right? What do you think, guys? <laughs> they look like that, right? I think because Humberto wears a hat every day. Exactly. And what do they say? What do they say, guys? We don't understand English. That's what they say. Teacher, we don't understand English. Okay. Okay, we can say that. It's study for your verbs. But that is rude, right? Estudia los verbos. That is rude. But we can give suggestions if we mix imperatives and infinitives. Yes? ¿Cómo quedaría con, con imperatives with infinitives? Uh -huh. Make sure to study your verbs. Make sure to study your verbs. Exactly. Very good. Make sure to study your verb. Mire, el imperative empieza con verb. You Play. see? There is no subject here, right? We don't have a subject here. No subject. Make sure to study your verbs. ¿Dónde está el infinitive? Here. You see? ¿Verdad que suena mejor? Study your verbs. Make sure yeah. to study for your verbs. Yeah, exactly. You're giving an advice in a polite way. Ven cómo funciona. It's easy, peasy, queasy, right? Está fácil, right? Teacher. Yes, yeah, student. The first, the first sentence in this study your verbs is just imperative. It's right? just imperative, exactly. But if okay. we combine imperative with infinitive, it's the second option. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yes. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Yes. If if we say uh, you should mm -mm. study your verb, no, it's not a no, re, re, no. Remember, do we use subject with imperatives? Yes or no? Oh. No. 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 With imperative, you don't use subject, and you said you should. That is not an imperative. That is, uh, that is, honey, giving advice using model verbs, okay? Which in this case is good. is a model verb, okay? But in this case, we are learning to give advice using imperatives with infinitives. That's what we're learning right now. Okay. Okay? You're welcome, sweetie. Okay, give me a, do me a favor. Okay. Remember, we have here Wendy and we have here Carlos, and they say that they don't understand English. Any suggestions that you can give it to them using imperative with infinitives? Uh huh. Remember, practice every day. Remember, remember, practice or remember to practice every day. Remember to practice. Exactly. Never forget the imperative. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Another advice? Don't, Don't forget. forget to learn the verbs. Uh, no, 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 because you know what? That is that is the example. So, uh-huh. So give me another advice, please. Huh. Don't, Don't forget, forget to join to do... the... Yay, very good. Remember not to copy the class's examples, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to speak English. Yay, very good. Amazing. Fernando, what about you? Uh, for the example, the imperative. Uh, imperative with infinitive. Door. Both. Okay. Uh, lock the door for the example, the imperative. Ah, uh, no, no, no. But you do have to do it in a polite way. Remember, don't forget. Make sure. Okay. Use those expressions. Okay. And the other example, uh, in the, the use my, my pillow for the sleeping at night. No, no, no. Remember, no. no. Remember imperatives is para dar advice de algo. 
Okay, for, for the imperative, for the example, mm -hmm. the lock the door. Uh, Roberto, no, lock the door. No, no, no. Remember that Humberto and Wendy, they said, I don't speak English. Or, I don't understand English. No entiendo inglés. ¿Qué, okay. uh, ¿Qué advice le darías tú usando imperative with infinitives? Remember that? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you must, do, you must learn, to you, learn, to learn the... Uh -huh. to, to learn the, the English. <laughs> uh -huh. But you said you must. And can we use you with imperatives, guys? No. 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 Remember, Fernando, with imperatives, don't use subjects. My sujeto. Okay. So you said, be sure. ¿Cómo podría usar esa? Be sure. To read uh -huh. more. To read more. Very good, Anita. Exactly. To read more. Mm -hmm. Another uh, example, please, or another advice, Helen? Be sure to do the homework. Exactly. Be sure to do the homework. Okay. Make sure to watch the video class if you did not attend to classes, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure. Make sure to pay attention. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Let me double check because we have a lot to do as well. <laughs> Oops. But you know what? The teacher always forgets. She's not a technology girl, right, Fernando? I'm not a technology girl. But, and I always forget to share my screen. Okay. Can you see it right now, guys? Yes. We go back. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what we sold yesterday. Okay, there you go. Okay, this is what we're doing right now. You see, guys, when we use imperative plus infinitive, we give a great suggestion, okay? Because it's a polite way to say it. Hey, take a look at this. Be sure to practice with your friends, right, guys? Uh-huh. Miren, ya ven, la teacher había pensado en más. Can you please read for me the second sentence, Adela? Make sure to use a dictionary. Very good. Continue reading, please. Sigue leyendo. Don't forget to think in English. Don't forget to think in English. Very good. Remember mm -hmm. to your English homework. Exactly, like Helen said. Continue. Try to pronounce properly. Very good. Excellent. You see, guys, be sure, make sure. Those are imperatives, right? Don't forget, remember, and try. And the yellow colors to practice, to use, to think, to do, to pronounce. Those are Infinitives. Okay, guys, let's practice the pronunciation. Repeat after me. Be sure. Be sure. Be sure. Be sure. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure. sure. Don't forget. Don't, Don't forget. forget. Remember. 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 Try. 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 Or you said it solitos, only the imperatives. One, two, three. Go ahead. Be sure. Be sure. Continue. Make, Make sure. sure. Okay. Don't, Don't forget. forget. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Remember. Remember. Okay. Try. 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 Excellent. Try. Very good. Job. Okay. Alguien me dio todo. Somebody's coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Now let's practice the pronunciation of the infinitive. To practice. To practice. To use. To use. To think. To, think. to do, to, to do, do. To, pronounce. to pronounce, very good guys, excellent, you see, okay, miren que interesante, okay, can you please read for me the sentences, uh, Carlitos? Uh, make sure to forget your dictionary. Ajá, continue. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Mm -hmm. Remember to translate into your native language. Mm -hmm. Try to mispronounce the words. Okay. ¿Qué significa? 
Imagínense que yo le estaba diciendo eso a ustedes que están aprendiendo inglés. ¿Son consejos buenos, sí o no? Sí. Ah, yes. ¿En serio? No. no. Asegúrate de olvidar el diccionario. Asegúrate de lo que has en clase. Ah, come on. The opposite. No. It's the opposite way. Ok, guys. Pero ¿cómo yo puedo? How can I do? O how can I transform? ¿Cómo puedo transformar? a negative idea into a positive idea using imperatives with infinitives. ¿Se les ocurre? Make sure not forget. Hey, very good. Excellent. Very good. Exactly. Exactly. Let me use another, another color, exactly. by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, guys. Miren, si yo pongo la partícula not, Aquí, lo voy a poner grande, pero acuérdense que no es mayúscula. No va mayúscula. Ok, si yo pongo not, ¿me lo puede volver a leer, Carlitos? Can you please read it once again for me? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Make sure not to forget your dictionary. Ajá. Uh, guys, make sure not to forget the dictionary. Hoy, ¿la idea se vuelve positiva? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Muy bien. And if you have a bad advice, if you want to transform it into a positive advice, you use the particularly not. ¿Sí? No. Not. Mire, lo va, va a usar not. ¿Sí? Muy bien. Pero, vea que dónde va note. ¿Ya vio dónde va? Between verb and the infinitive. Exactly. ¿Sí? Mire, el not va en medio del imperative y el infinitive, ¿sí? Si usted, por ejemplo, lee, don't forget not to stay quiet in class, ¿verdad que está positive la idea? Ok. Yes. Ok, Dani, ¿podrías decirme la, los mismos sentences que Carlos dijo, pero con la particularly not, para que veas cómo cambia el significado? Ok. Don't forget not to stay quiet in class. Mm -hmm. Remember not to translate into your native language. Mm -hmm. Try not to mispronounce the words. Exactly. ¿Sí? Quiere decir, no, no permanezca callado en clase. No traslade lo que se dice a su, a su lenguaje original. En estas palabras es en español. Y trate de no pronunciar mal. ¿Ok? Mispronounce. Mispronounce. Pronunciar mal. Mispronounce. Ok. Guys, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué les pareció? It was interesting, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Ok. Yes. Now you have a homework. Like <laughs> yes. <laughs> And Humberto has uh, two homeworks, actually. Ok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok. Ok. Your homework will be, I want five sentences. Five sentences using infinitive, no, imperative with infinitive to give good advice, okay? It could be positive way, be sure to study for the exam, for example, or it could be negative sentence, but to give a positive idea. For example, remember not to use your dictionary in the exam. Okay, like for example that, okay? It will be easy peasy quizzy, only five sentences and that's it. Any question okay. guys? Any doubts about today's class or any doubts about the homework? No teacher. Are you sure Janet, easy peasy quizzy, like water? Like cake? Yes, like water. Like water, okay, hopefully. What about you, Patty? No, like water. Like water, okay, finally. Very good, I'm just kidding. I was like, oh my God, Patty will say like horchata. No way, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, Dani, Helen, Fernando, uh, Christian, Catherine, Janet, any questions right now? Everything is clear? Clear for the moment. Clear for the moment. Yes, Dani, I knew it. Yes, Dani, go ahead. No, 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 it's oh. clear for the oh, moment. Oh, it's clear. Oh, okay, because yes. it's a teacher, so it was like, she has a doubt, no. maybe? Okay, okay, very no, no, good. No. Okay, guys, so no. you have to uh, take a rest. Umberto has to go to have uh, his dinner. Right? Mm -hmm. 
because he's starving right now since 6 30 p.m okay okay guys so thank you so much for coming and enjoying today's class i'm so happy to see you once again tomorrow we're going to do a recap for everything that we have seen so far okay hopefully we can play <laughs> it's a possibility all right so study and study okay you have two options a study or a study which one you prefer Study. Okay, be sure, guys, to study for tomorrow. Okay, all right. Hugs and kisses. Bye. 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 Bye